Hi everybody, thank you for joining me once again as we reflect on the Sermon on the Mount from Matthew's Gospel. Uh, We've particularly over these last few days been looking at the Lord's Prayer and we now, as we reach uh, verse 13 of Matthew 6, we now reach uh, the end of the prayer. Jesus, remember, is teaching his disciples how to pray. He's told them how not to pray and not to be like the hypocrites and the Pharisees, but now he's he's given them a model for what our prayer should be. And he concludes with something that is really a bit of a puzzle, uh, uh, certainly very interesting. He, he says this, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. A few years ago, uh, a gentleman who had been a Christian for a long, long time. He was, when we were having this conversation, certainly uh, probably early 80s. He'd been a, uh, a Christian for almost all of his life. And he said to me, one of the things I've always puzzled over is, is this line. Why does the Bible say, why does the Lord's Prayer say, lead us not into temptation? God would never tempt us with something that is not good for us. So why does it is it say that? Why does Jesus say that in this prayer. Uh, And that's a conundrum that um, scholars have have sort of puzzled over uh, all through um, history. Once again, I'm indebted to John Stott and his little commentary on the Sermon on the Mount, which is really well worth having a look at. And he says this, a better explanation seems to me to be that lead us not must be understood in the light of its counterpart, but deliver us and that evil should be rendered evil one. In other words, it is the devil who is in view, who tempts God's people to sin, and from whom we need to be rescued. Perhaps we could paraphrase, he goes on to say, the whole request as, do not allow us to be led into temptation, that it overwhelms us, but rescue us from the evil one. Uh, and I agree with him for what it's worth. Um, uh, I think that is absolutely right. It's it's not about God um, tempting us, but it's about uh, us praying and asking for God to give us the strength to withstand the temptation or the testing that the, de- the devil um, throws at us. Uh, it's about us asking in the second part of that line for God to deliver us from the snares, the temptation, the difficulty of the devil taunting us and challenging us. And that surely is a good thing for us to pray and for us to pray frequently and often, uh, for us to to be strong enough to withstand the temptation of the devil that he throws at us, for us to be strong enough to be able to to look to God and to remember that God has has given us uh, his son to forgive us of our sins, but also to help us to withstand uh, the temptation to sin. So uh, may that be an encouragement, may that be a help for all of us, that we stand against the fiery darts of the evil one, as the Apostle Paul puts it, and that we stand up to temptation, that God gives us the strength to stand up against temptation, and that we see and know and feel his deliverance from the evil one. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Father, thank you. Thank you for your strength, for your power, your majesty at work in our lives. Thank you that we can pray to you. Please hear the prayers of our hearts. Uh, Whatever we're going through, whether trials or or, um, celebrations, help us to know your peace, Lord, and your strength. For your glory, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me. God bless you.